Welcome back to NO1404, the Elector scenario. Last time we left off by uh, building our first citizen houses, having built a couple of uh, lumberjacks, uh, two groups of three groups, and a couple of fishermen's huts, and I forgot to correctly um, uh, build the road there, so only the first fisherman was used, it wasn't very smart of me, but oh well, it's fixed now. And um, we are kind of low on fish mostly, but that's probably okay now. And cider is still rising, so we can sell if you have more than yeah, something, quite a lot of them, then we can sell for some money. Because for these victory conditions we need... 150,000 and we kind of slowly need to work there to get it. Okay, our first objective in this episode should be probably to get uh, access to the tool ma toolmaker's workshop by getting 240 citizens so we can create our own tools and we don't have to constantly buy it. Uh, we have two iron deposits, so we can build four tool makers because the, you need uh, one charcoal burner, one iron smelter, and two uh, tool makers workshop for each iron mine. So we have two, then can we uh, create a little bit more? And it's also one of the things you can see um, uh, that uh, the unofficial patch changes. Uh, the iron deposit has a lot of tonnage. Normally this maximum would be 10,000, but the unofficial patch increases that so you don't have to refill. Never, kind of, kind of never oh, have to refill I'm it. so glad you're here. Feel free to come. If there's anything else I can help you Thank with. Thank you. So you can just, uh, once you place it, it's just done. Splendid, that. Thank you. I think that's a little loud. Let's lower that volume quickly. Uh, language a little bit lower and if the sounds not good just comment below in the comment section then I can change it further yes get some more houses I can't uh, well you want to I can sell that wood maybe a little bit uh, yeah I could also place an extra extra marketplace for some more houses one two place this correctly and then I'll build the next marketplace here like this or maybe like this no like this perfect You can go now, yes, and let's build a couple more peasant houses before. And then slowly this can all be filled in. But just to make it our income a little bit higher because a toolmaker's workshop, uh, a complete toolmaker's production chain costs quite a lot in upkeep. So we need to have enough houses enough population to be able to pay for it all because otherwise it would be game over um yes let's upgrade a couple more houses the shortcut for upgrading is the u letter so pretty handy and you can also uh, let them do it automatically but that's not as much fun. Nice, a couple more. Two hundred forty. How many? Uh, oh, yeah, I have enough. That's nice. But I still need a lot more tools to get it going because I only have ten left. Maybe I should delete these three. Lumberjack because I'm now producing much more than I actually use at this point. 
No, not the, the road, yes. That's fine. Let's speed it up so that I everybody knew you'd lead home. the city to prosperity. You have a wider yes, range of you. buildings available to you. Here here is our mine, so let's place a mock place. An iron mine. Yes. One smelter. And you can see this also is added by the by the unofficial patch that there is calculation how much you need from everything so two mo two two tool makers workshops need one charcoal burner on a hundred percent one iron mine and one iron smelter so i can two of these and then i need a lot more tools of course how wonderful and I'd it be isn't enough let's shake on it. so let's go and find the orient or i can maybe I get an extra ship so I don't need to buy anything but I now only need a charcoal burner how much is that let's do well we can of course always do this and now have enough and as you might see this new account in anno 144 so I don't have any achievements so we're getting <laughs> the first beginner achievements nice nice very nice let's go quickly Ooh, beautiful oh that's fun you, you can already see new islands in the distance but not on map that's fun is this useful? It's really a massive world. Normally, you don't have, uh, never are so lucky with such big islands. It's unbelievable. A massive island here, a massive island here, but I don't have any hemp. Oh no, any uh, herbs? No, no wine. It's going to be difficult, but oh well. The golden roofs of the Orient are glittering on the horizon. And probably there are a couple. I am. Thank I'm you. A couple more smaller islands, maybe here and here, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Do you intend this as yes, a token? I, I do. grant you this initiative. You. Do you have more tools? Yes. Are you interested? I'm in full agreement. Marvelous. Then I can also, of course, come to trust start you. building some first phase is complete. oriental stuff, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm only going to do that in the end when I um, this have enough. Ship shall be yours. Have uh, our need of it because uh, citizens, of course, need spices in which I need uh, to get the orange stuff, but that's something for later. You have sighted new land. You've got a good deal there. Thank you. And I also need... Do I need anything else? Uh, yes, fish. I'm running out of it. That's not good. People shouldn't go hungry. And this is the first Toolmaker production line. Let's get the second immediately too. Do, 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 do. So one iron mine, some roads, some roads, so I can place the one here, nice, then one smelter, and then two, and I of course don't have enough tools yet, but I have them on this ship. Uh, yes, let's to toolmakers workshops nice done so now we have our own production line of tools which is very very nice and I kind of need more wood now so let's replace that again really out of face god damn it really 
you'll get the next new card. Oh yeah, I forgot to build a stone workshop. That's also pretty handy. And I only have two, that's unfortunate. Let's speed it up, because I need my stuff. One. And also let's go for this weekend of course. Let's speed the game up again. Three. Six. Uh, yes, that's close enough. And then a stone cutter. Nice. Well, we have now everything kind of used that we can use on this island, but I it's fine. We should also be uh, let's first uh, place all the houses that we can because we really probably should increase our town size so we can um, don't have to do that later because once we have enough houses we don't we only have to upgrade them to patricians and noblemen and we don't have to worry about needing to build a bigger city for uh, getting our victory condition because I think to get 2,000 noblemen and uh, 5,000 inhabitants uh, in total we should need more than like two or three no I think four probably four marketplaces and one in the south that should be more than enough probably and we can place a couple more here in the gaps and we don't have any wood anymore which is fine then we wait a little bit do we have enough yes everyone wants to upgrade this we probably enough fish but we can all for just to be sure just build one extra and i could also build uh, stone roads cobblestone because uh, the market guards which physically need to pick up the goods are much quicker uh as you can see much quicker um on uh paved roads than just these roads but in the bigger cities you can still just use these roads because in the cities itself it really really doesn't matter it would be nice that for instance the influence radius would become a little bit bigger by this kind of stone you use but that's not a thing unfortunately but oh well. Let's grow, people grow. And let's build a couple more houses. Because as you can see we would we were more than four hundred in the plus plus uh in the positive, but right now we are kind of only just three hundred. But we don't need to buy more tools. That's not necessary. We do need more fish, it looks like. We really, really use that much. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, probably because everyone only eats fish and nobody eats something else. Because when we get partitions, they want spices, fish, and uh, bread. In which case, they eat just a little bit fish and nothing else, um, almost completely. Let's speed it up again. To wait, yes. Let's place the last houses we can, and then start working on on our hemp production for clothing, because these people want clothing, and they already have it some weird reason. Apparently, you get a stock full. Uh, you are. Kind of, apparently, really weird in this scenario. Probably because because it's a be beginner scenario, you'll get um, a couple things just to keep to keep the people happy. Can I know? Yes, thank you. Well, the calculations for uh, the hemp or how do they call it? Uh, weaver's hut is two hemp plantations for uh, one uh, weaver's hut. So I built here a group of four uh, hemp plantations and that will result in in total a total of two um weaver huts 
which I will probably build here to get to place the industrial heartlands. Save game. Game save. To build the industrial uh, center of the city on this uh, side of town. Just so we kind of keep it separate. No, this is not how I want it. I want it like something like here and then this one there, one there. Kind of like a weird swastika because <laughs> swastikas just work in Anno for one weird reason. Two, so nice. That should be producing linen garnets of linen vest. I don't know how they call it. Linen. Linen garments. And I need more fish, even. God damn it. Why eat so much? Let's build more fishermen. And one, two. Come on. Get some more wood. Three, four, five, six. That's another three. That should be. That should really be enough. For these amount of people. And as you can see now, we are only. That's a plus 99 gold, which is a very small amount. But hey, let's um, get upgrading some houses. And I really need more wood. Really weird. I can't really put any more here. Let's destroy you. Make you a little bit longer. And place one here and one here. And increase you so when you upgrade a marketplace normally he's only he has only one market card like here but if you upgrade it you get two and if you upgrade it again you get three and the oriental stuff These has are the first building plans no, I three can market cards nice I thought it was two really three damn thank you you could probably use those better but it doesn't look as good because as you can see these are in a style in an oriental stuff, like a mosque, uh, kind of. And it looks really out of place. And uh, would you be so kind as to grant me yes, your support? Sure. Where is it? You can see on the minimap where he where it blinks to get a kind of an idea. It should be somewhere here. Oh, here. And this is also something the um, Thank you. This is also something the unofficial patch uh, changes. Normally you could have three or more people you have to find, but now it's only one, so it's much easier because sometimes it's really irritating to get uh, range of buildings available to you. To get uh, to find everybody, it's quite difficult. Nice. Town is coming along what do we need? We probably need a small, little bit extra storage space. Because every building, one of these is 15 tons, which is quite nice. I still need more fish, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. But um, we kind of have everything sorted out now, it looks like. Only we need, for the uh, citizens, we only exactly need um, we a tavern and spices. And spices, we need a southern colony to get that going probably this island is perfect and um for a tavern we can just build it i think right now no we need 15 wood nice so let's place it in the middle of town can we place it in the middle yes let's do that perfect Kind of an extra city center, and then we should also build. Um, you, by shift, you can see the influence radius. Influence radius, so we should probably build a church here, and we can build a bigger church later in game here. But we still need a little bit more wood. So, perfect. Now we can upgrade almost all the houses to citizens. Uh, and let's do that in this episode and then in the next episode we can 
focus our attention completely on settling here in the Orient and uh, probably discovering uh, the complete world. That's something nice to do in a single episode. But let's do this first. We really need even more wood. Well, let's do this then. One here, and uh, can we put on? As you can see, this kind of <laughs> full here. But oh well. It isn't. It doesn't really matter. Do we need anything else? No. As you can see, our fish amount is kind of stabilized. And this little arrow indicates that it's kind of going up uh, still a little bit. And the same with cider. Cider is completely good. And let's build two more fishermen. That should really be enough. And especially when we're going to get um, cider. Um... Uh, I mean spices then it should be completely fine well yeah we can upgrade a little bit not too much because it needs to be in the influence of the church of course but we still have quite a lot of houses who can do that so we can also just give them automatic ascension right so they slowly upgrade automatically this is an honor thank you yeah we should also kind of update this because it doesn't upgrade automatically with the um, increase of storage. Let's build one more, two more. And it can, probably because that's my main harbor, I'm going to delete in later episodes all these fishermen, these six, and get harbor defenses and that kind of stuff. You don't need it in this scenario, but it's always just fun. And it can always also be in this one that. The city is just going to expand here. Maybe we can delete this and make this our city center. But that's something for the next episode. I'm probably going to stop it here. We nicely built it, the city out to a second marketplace. We more than doubled our inhabitants. We uh, built it a tool production line and a hemp uh, linen garments production line. And um, we are ready to uh, start to <coughs> settle the southern islands in the next episode. So thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully see you see you next episode. Uh, next episode.